I'm back. Whoa! That monkey just glitched out and blocked me from going through. Quit it, monkey! <laughs> you can't walk through? Oh, it starts. Paradelia. Oh, okay. It was yeah. in between episodes. Sorry, yeah, we're talking about how. Because I saw a face in the mushroom. Obviously, yeah. there isn't a face, it's just the spots on the mushroom. And I couldn't remember the word for when you see a face or something. It's not that actually. Clearly, a isn't face. a face. Yeah. Like the man in the moon. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, Paradolia. Strutting evil mushroom. Yeah. Look at his legs. He's strutting. He's just going to town. Maybe this is the Bee Gees. Man. I love the Bee Gees. How awesome are the Bee Gees? Right? Like, I have all their albums. <laughs> really? I really do. The falsetto they do, he does, is so fucking mm. famous. I've always been a big fan of the uh, the Barry Gibb talk show sketch on yeah. uh, SNL. Because <laughs> he's Barry effing Gibb. Yeah. Effing? <laughs> well, that's what he always says because he can't swear. Oh. And then, uh, like, he just starts freaking out whenever he's like, Peter Ram! I'm Barry effing Gibb! <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, like, I forget the complete situation, but it was there was some celebrity who was interviewing at the Barry Gibb talk show and, like, he had to, uh, the celebrity insulted him, and he's just like, he's like, I will beat you to death, I will kill you, and then I will humiliate your corpse. <laughs> I was like, whoa, Jimmy Fallon. What's in the box? Uh, What's in the box? It's going to spell his head. <laughs> I love that movie. The movie's super rad. Um, actually, I, uh, in school, I did this sound assignment where you had to pick a scene from a movie and, like, remake all the sounds yourself. Yeah. And so we chose that scene. It's so funny how much my friend sounds like Brad Pitt in that moment. I'll just show it to you guys after. Um, he just like it, 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 like we got the mouth movement so perfect. It like it looks just like the movie. <laughs> it's so rad. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I love it. It was really fun. You're really fun. What's in the fucking box? <laughs> Like and because we've had to ADR for so long, because like we're not actors, right? So it's like it's hard to like get the lines right. And so like I've heard those lines of that scene so much from just doing that assignment that whole day. Yeah. And so it was just like, it's like, oh god, oh god. <laughs> like he says like those things exactly, and then it's like, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? <laughs> <laughs> so intense. It's a ghost. The Look ghost up. in the box. Loud Ghost in the Box sounds like a wacky Disney show. Right? This fall on Disney. Ghost in the Box. It's like, Mom, the ghost got out of the box again. Why is there like crystals? It's the Fortress of Solitude. It's just like your J.O. crystals. <laughs> Gotta charge them. Have a good charge sesh. Talk to the crystals. Bubblegum. Pack of bubblegum. I thought it said the monkey chewed. Oh, it did. It does. Yeah. It's a bubble monkey is what it's called. Oh. It's like Bubbles, the monkey. Or is a chimp, rather. <laughs> Man, he just bailed. Yeah. <laughs> he just like, leave. See ya. You didn't examine the crystals. You want to jack off. I'm not going to jack Look off. Look at them. What's up with, like, the sparkly... The sparkle jam. Boss. What's that? Oh. I think juice. I can skip the boss until I have Paula and... Uh, but it's a strut and evil mushroom. I'm gonna strut all over this honky. This dang ass cave. <laughs> Look out! You killed it. It stopped moving. It did stop moving. This game is very strange in its terminology. I'll stop you. You tame wild animals and you stop moving plants and they're so Tame them, but it's like bludgeoned the dog with a bat. Now yeah. it's tame. Aww. Oh, he found are... love! He did. And you're just like, oh. Um, <laughs> Divine, like, I own Jeff, you. And Jeff's just like, why should they be happy? He starts like tasing them. Kills them. Oh. Whoa! It's a Neanderthal. It's just some fucking mongoloid that you gotta beat oh, you up. Just beat them up? Yeah. That's just like and, like dudes. Well, we did Boy. kill a bunch of cops. Yeah, but they tried to beat you up, so you're like, yeah, it's fine. We we'll the Sally. <laughs> Cave boy. It's like, Darn, why are you hitting me? Ow, my body hurts. Please. <laughs> he's so cute. And he's fucking dead. He's got, almost like if Grimace Ooh, was a person. You're dead. You're fucking dead. The fedge. Get good. I'm working on it. Gotta well, make it to the lab. Well, I don't remember it doing that. 
What? That like the image goes further and further away. And... Yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> His name's Brick Road. Yep. What a loser. He's the dungeon designer. He looks like the Monopoly guy. He's fucking Sir Topham Hat. He's gonna stick his top hat in your butt. What? Are you looking at me? Oh! Huh? It's <laughs> like, you're just like staring at me like I'm supposed to know something. And then I was like, what? Uh, yeah, Sir Top of Matt. I have a story to tell about that. We got a lot of trouble. Um, Sir Top of Matt. In 10th grade, in history class. We never listened. Um, no, we never. never. So, who the fuck cares? You're like and, uh, 15, 23%? <laughs> Right. Um, That's pretty damn close to what we got. Yeah, so in that class, we weren't listening, and I like to doodle and goof around in school. And so... Who the fuck is my monkey? I don't know why it came up. You, we were ta- you were trying to draw Thomas. I was trying to draw Thomas about the Thomas. Tank Engine, which is a children's show, if you're not familiar. Everyone, it's an English show, isn't it? Yeah. So then I've seen like every, every episode, because my, my brother watches it religiously. Um, so the the rich man who owns um, the, the railway um, is um, called Sir Topham Hat, and he's a portly gentleman with a top hat. And so I don't know. Oh, I was saying to you, I was drawing Mr. Thomas, top hat. and I kept saying Mr. Top Hat and over and over again, and it was frustrating. And you're just like, it's Mr. Topham or it's Sir, Sir Topham, Topham hat. hat, and I laughed so hard. That we both got detention. We both got <laughs> shit. And not only that, but then the teacher took my note that I've been doodling on, and then he kept it in his file to show my mum when she, <laughs> for a parent-teacher like, thing. <laughs> and she didn't even care. She just thought, like, this is fucking dumb. Because Why are you keeping this? The, the doodle pad featured a... <laughs> <laughs> a mache- a machete-wielding clown on a unicycle. <laughs> and he thought that was troubling. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I was like, like yeah, sick. I we weren't paying attention. No, I don't. And like, I'm not like a deranged person. Like, it wasn't like no, it was I want to be. I didn't see myself as the <laughs> yeah, clown. I have to kill people. Yeah. It's like he was killing someone. I mean, it would have been no. so great. Just like you have to understand something. <laughs> this is me. If I don't draw him, he hurts people. <laughs> 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 and I just keep drawing him and drawing over him. Over and over again. <laughs> With the pencil in a fist. <laughs> Muttering under your breath. <laughs> Mr. fucking Topman. S- S- <laughs> Sir. Topman hat. Yeah, it was a super weird day. But whatever, we passed history and now... Barely. We, yeah, we squeaked by and uh, <laughs> don't have to fucking worry about that anymore. Yeah. That was the only thing I ever did bad in was history, just because I could not stand that guy. Yeah. The math was, class? It was rough. Yes. We had the best math <laughs> class ever. Poor woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we used to pick, Michael and I would meet before class, we had math together, and we'd pick a word of the day, and when, <laughs> <laughs> and when the teacher would say it, we'd cause an uproar in the class. <laughs> It was like Pee-wee's Yeah, that? it was like pee but we'd try and, like, pick a word that she... Eventually, we started picking... Or when we started, we were picking words that would actually come up in the class. Yeah. But then we started picking words that she Because she started catching on to, to it. Say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At, like, the math stuff, she started catching on so she wouldn't say it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you, you, one day it was clock, and Michael puts up his hand, disrupting the lesson, going, what time <laughs> like is going it? She's, like, going on. What time is it? <laughs> what time is it? She goes, look at the clock, and he goes... <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> One day she brought in a bag of batteries and sat them on his desk and told him to sort them because she didn't want to deal with it today. Yeah. Um, I think my favorite thing, though, was trying to explain that to the principal I was writing. And I was like, so I, she said the word of the day. And he's like, what, did, what do you mean? Like, well, I asked her what time it was. And he looks and he's like, oh, it's four. And I was like, ah! Oh! <laughs> I did it to him. Yeah. But here's the, after about two weeks, other people in the class started wanting to do it too. Yeah. So there would be a congregation of people waiting outside her classroom for Michael to come and announce the word of the day. <laughs> and people would sit looking at Michael like, huh? It's gonna happen. It's Here gonna it happen. Goes. She's gonna say it. That's so awesome. <laughs> 
she just didn't know what to do. Like, she was just genuinely lost, had no idea what to do I don't do think with we ever had a class together. No, yeah, we did. Music. Music. Hey. Played the trumpet. Yeah. <laughs> we both played the trumpet. That was so remember, long ago. Remember our, our, our uh, media class? I had really long hair. Remember the media class where Michael wrote the exam and did better than everybody else? <laughs> no. Did I really? Yeah, you can, you can, okay, remember you I, don't, I remember I'd show up. Come in the class, and she's like, would you like to write the exam, Michael? Hoping you would say no, and then she'd go, well, you better get to class. And he's like, like all right. And he sat down and wrote our exam and did better than most of the people <laughs> in the class. <laughs> That's awesome. <sighs> Well, I applied myself that I could do shit. Yeah. I never applied myself. That's the, that's the thing. It's like, now that I'm in college, I'm like, awesome student. But like, in high school, I didn't give a fuck. Yeah. Oh, well. Next time I turn a bomb. I give less of a fuck than fucking fuck. <laughs> you heard the man. You heard him. <laughs> heard it here first. 